Hi again, this is Chris with Apartment Ponics. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit now about what uh, I'm using for media. So for the bottom part of the grow bed, I'm just using um, a lava rock, which you really have to thoroughly wash it out. I have a couple buckets here in my, my hose and um, yeah, really wash it before you put it into your system. You don't want all that mud and gunk in there. Um, and then for the remaining top part, uh, instead of hydrogen, I did an alternative. Um, so we'll see how that works. Um, but it's called an aqua rock. Let me see the label here. Don't know if you guys can read that. Aqua rock. Aqua Rocks Aquaponic Grow Media. And there is the website where you can order it. Um, I actually got this one um, at an aquaponic source store. I um, mean, yeah, I think you can order it off the aquaponic source website as well. Um, so, what it is is a, a clay median. And then they they dried it in a kiln. So it's a clay medium, and I just dried it or baked it in the kiln. Uh, very lightweight. I don't know if it's gonna have a problem floating or not. I'll have to try. Um, but it's a lot softer on your hands. And smaller than the lava rock, so uh, I think it's going to do well. Um, not to mention, it's about the same size bag as the pelt. Twelve dollars cheaper per bag than the hydrogen. Um, hydrogen can get pretty expensive, so that's why I went that way. Um, after I get it all in, I will update. Okay. A little update as I'm going along putting in the media the sides completely done looks pretty good easy on the hands and then this side is starting so it should be just enough and then we'll run a cycle through here to see. Just gonna work with the water flow and how high until the siphons kick on. Should be about right though. All right, I'll update you here in a little bit. All right, so I now have both sides filled to the top with media. And what I'm going to do is kind of flush it out once before I let it drain down into my tanks. Um, I know it's going to get dirty and filmy and murky already, but I think if I kind of run a cycle through it first before I let it go into my fish tank, it would be a lot, a lot better. I don't have fish in there yet, but... Um, yeah, I like clean water. <laughs> so I'm going to take the, the garden hose and fill it up and let the siphon uh, kick in. And I just had it draining into this bucket, which then has a spout down off of my balcony into the trees and plants below. So... <sighs> trying to wash it off a little bit and... Soak it down. And let her fill up. Okay, the siphon I filled it up, and the siphon is kicked in and is draining.
And after this side is finished, we will kind of run a cycle through the other side as well. Well, it's 230, which is good. All right. So we will fill this side up and then I'll drain it as well. Okay, the grow media is washed and in. Looks really good. I'm happy with it. Next step is to get my water adjusted so I have my siphons, my cycle emptying and, and filling at the rate that I need. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that's changed quite a bit since I added the median here. And then after that, I'll go ahead and add the plants. Uh, that will be for a different video. Um, so keep watching for additional updates. Again, let me know what you think of using lava rock on the bottom and maybe a different grow media on the top, such as hydrogen, or in this case, the aqua rocks. If you have any experience using the aqua rocks, how they work for you. And of course, I'll let you know about my experience. Uh, if you like this video, please comment and like, subscribe. Again, this is Chris from Apartment Aquaponics. Thanks for watching.